are doing a microcontroller since the beginning. We passed from transistors to flip flops to MOOCs to decos to make our own microcontroller with our own language and with our own architecture. And compiler. And <laughs> compiler. <laughs> so to prove our microcontroller, uh, we implement so some algorithms um, uh, that, that I will uh, show you is an algorithm the prime factors of an uh, integer number. So, um, well, we have uh, an integer, and we when I use we use a, a counter that we start uh, into because it's the first uh, prime number, and n well uh, is whatever here number, for example. So uh, that one consists in divide the n integer into both counters and then in place of counter. Uh, for example, uh, we ha uh, and uh, store the, the counter to show uh, what which numbers are the the factor prime. And so uh, if the n integer is Divisible in the counter, we divide it. And this is in case in this case, in this case it's six. And then in this case, we don't increase our counter because we don't know if if the division is still still being divisible in, by our counter. So uh, we verify that six is divisible by two. And yes, and our counter is still still equal to three is divisible by two. In this case, no. So we place the counter to three. Alex. Ah. Thank you. And so we increase the counter and. Uh, in this case, n is still the same. And um, now verify that n is divisible by counter. Yes. And the counter is still the same. So the factor that we we store is two. Uh, two. This node. Yeah. This. So when we can and divide the number and by our counter, we say that that counter. So uh, it, it is how it, our algorithm works. There is an implementation in Visual Studio in C++ language. C++. C++. <laughs> C++. So um, the challenge here was to implement this algorithm in micro instru instructions. For implement that, we develop our own assembly language. These are the operations that we are allowed to do. Here are our moves, the or the logics operator, or the arithmetic operator, operators, and well, we have the direction modes from register to register, immediate, immediate uh, modes, and here is the list of everything that is allowed on our assembly language. Uh, well now, uh, we, so here is the, the code in assembly language. Well, this is the also division uh, By our own Circuit. design. So yes. Sure. Okay. Our own design and our, our own assembly language. Okay. So we have three different kinds of 
Uh, okay, this is also known as the data path. Here we have uh, registers, with, which are kind of a unit in which we store information. We have three kinds of registers. The yellow ones are 16 bits registers, the white ones are 8 bit registers. This is the bus. This connects every register with the RAM, the random access memory, and the control unit. I'm going to talk about this later. So, using the bus, we can compute using the algorithmic logic unit, taking the information in the registers or from the ports, from outside our microcontroller. And we can use the, the random access memory to write a program using our assembly language to use functions, pre compiled code uh, to store variables and to uh, store information in a stack. A stack is kind of a data structure in which, yeah. Okay, so the control unit is the one which tells everyone what to do. This is the one that tells everyone what to do, it knows what to do, and they know how to do it, right? And so we compute it here, and we output using the uh, video unit. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, with all the micro instructions that we este, we implement, we can do our program or algorithm or, or algorithm in C. We put it in our assembler program, and then this program made by us can convert the code in our language to the numbers that we are going to store in the RAM, so the unit that the control can read them to make all the outputs and movements of operations. So with this program, I don't know if you want Could you want to approach to the break this? So with this program, we connect our microcontroller. We write the program to the microcontroller and Here's the output. there is the output. Prime numbers, give me a num. And I don't know if you want to type a number. Okay. Well, can I see the number? Ah, um, it's secret. <laughs> well, <laughs> then we push this button, and the factors of the number you input are there. If you multiply 3 by 53, it gives you 159. And the it maximum number we can do is 75,050. Hundred thirty six. So here is the uh, uh, the factors of is two. So this is our own microcontroller that we do with the wrong language, with the wrong microcontroller, with the wrong compiler, and it's very great 